working right now too. Tell me about that. Um, back about uh, Thursday last, about oh, 10 days ago, uh, we had a defendant named Raul Ruiz Nunez, uh, date of birth 6-11-57, if I'm not mistaken, who pled guilty to the first degree felony offense of uh, aggravated sexual assault of a child uh, and it was received a sentence of 11 years. Um, the defendant had been on bond for three and a half years and had shown up for every court appearance to my knowledge that he had you know that he had and had been had a good track record while on bond so uh, his, his attorney wanted uh, some time to allow him to get his affairs in order and report to the jail on Monday morning Monday at noon a oh, Monday last week he never showed up he is on the run he is in the wind we do not know where he is uh, we have dedicated resources prior to this murder happening to locating him, um, and uh, he is a convicted felon. He gave a judicial admission to this offense, and he did not hold up his end of the bargain. He did not show up. He is uh, whereabouts unknown right now, so um, anybody that has any information about this individual is strongly encouraged to reach out to our sheriff's department to reach out to the u.s marshals to reach out to any law enforcement agency uh, he pled guilty in judge john wells's court back on thursday uh, 10 days ago whatever that date was uh, for 11 years and um, he's currently looking at more charges so um, we believe his family had something to do with it we're still investigating that and um you know we're not happy about it no thing is he was from the same area too wasn't he what area was yes. he from? He was from the Trails End area out there on uh, 1 Hicks Street, an unincorporated okay. area in Cleveland, um, right up the road from where this murder happened that we've been working on. Okay. Very close. We've got quite a few cases out of, out of uh, there. This deputy shot several years ago, dope case out of there, another uh, home invasion with a, a aggravated assault. I can't, uh, Scott, I can't necessarily speak to those because those all, those all went down before I got here, but we've had... Uh, We've had two good reasons to be out there in the last in the last week. So we were out looking for Mr. Nunez uh, a week ago. Um, we're right here in front of his bondsman's office, and they're looking for him too. So, um, how much of a bond was he out on? Do you know? Do you remember? I think it was a hundred. Okay. I, right. Not enough. <laughs> so, well, I but okay. All right. All right. Thanks. All right.